Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this video right here right now, specifically for Libra from the month of May 2019. Libra, May 2019 horoscopes. But I'm shuffling the cards here because I'm going to pull a card for you guys. I know you guys like that kind of stuff. I think it's kind of fun too. All right, let's do it. Hey Libra, I hope you're having a very cool, super amazing month. It should be... Um, pretty tricky you should be revisiting goals you know so i know i'm talking a lot about how hell all hell is going to break loose <laughs> but only for some signs for other signs uh, you're going to revisit your goals the self no believe it or not has to do with a lot of things uh that you've been working on or your hopes that you depends on where it is but like south node is pretty much in astrology it's um where you've come from stuff you're good at and stuff you've kind of always wanted to do and you're going to get a chance to revisit that and revise that and that's a big you know that's it it could be um for some people it could be a little spooky for some others it's going to be okay so here i'm just shuffling the cards we do have a little bit of news before we get on to things but and i'll show you all of this in the horoscopes but um like for example so for example if you're a libra because there are some libras as examples here on the channel in the sunny side they have um you know they started a business last year and so you know things would have worked out or didn't work out to various degrees you're going to get a chance now to go back and clean it up you don't get a second chance to fill in some of the gaps so so i'll say it again so if you started a business and things weren't you know exactly awesome you're going to get a chance to go back and clean some things up if um you know, if you started, uh, you bought a house and you're like, oh, it went on and on and on. You're going to get a chance to go back and clean some things up. You know, fix the paperwork. If you lent money to somebody, you know, and they, you're going to get a chance to go back and clean it up. If you're Libra in relationship situations or you thought you liked somebody, you really had a crush on someone for the longest time, and it did, it did or it didn't work out, you're going to go back and get a second chance to clean it up. I really like this. You know, retrogrades give you a second chance. And uh, it depends. It depends. This thing I'm talking about with Pluto uh, aspecting the nodes, that sec is a second chance. Other things aren't a second chance. <laughs> like Jupiter going retrograde is going to, optimism is going to dry up. And uh, depending on where it falls in your chart, it's going to be a little, it's definitely going to be a little tricky. But we'll talk about that on an uh, a little bit more when we look at the horoscopes. Uh, in a second. We'll get to the horoscopes in a second. Before we do that, there's a little business on the channel. First up, I have a workshop coming up on Sunday, May 18th at noon Eastern, which is, I'm in the Toronto, <laughs> in the T-Dot, which is 9 a.m. Pacific for everybody's in Vancouver or Seattle or California. And uh, if you're in the middle somewhere, you got to figure it out yourself. <laughs> so that's the deal. And it's all about understanding your rising sign. Now, uh, your rising sign is a sign that's on the cusp when you're um, or on your ascendant when you were born and it very much colors your personality with how you appear to the world and uh, you know you have to take your rising sign and you put it together with your sun sign and you get a significantly more complete understanding of who you are uh, and how you present yourself how you present yourself to the world and what other people see when they look at you all right next so the sun it's from within it's who you are it's you know kind of the areas of your life that are uh, illuminated, the first house, the ascendant, it's what people see when they look at you. So it may not, in most, you know, it may or may not be the same, similar, even remotely related. And they're going to color each other. So just because you're Gemini rising doesn't mean you're super chatty. Just because uh, you're a Cancer sun doesn't necessarily make you super introverted. And so there's some things to look at. In addition to that, there's, and so if you're interested in that, there are only eight spots left. And it's on Sunday, May 18th. So there's a link in the description box to head over to the uh, and to sign up like that. In addition to that, there's a um, or shoot me an email if you want to take the course. Uh, in addition to that, I have a Mother's Day special on. So the next couple of weeks, it's your birth chart report and your progress report. Each report is only thirty dollars now. I'm going to show you a copy in a second, and uh, so you can get both for fifty dollars. And there's a link in the description box below as well with that. Now the deal is, everybody knows what their birth chart report, it's your natal report, but did you know that your chart progresses over time? I don't know that it's obvious or not, but, it, but it, it does. So for example, over time people change, right? Like that's, you should, okay, so over time people change, and all of this change uh, shows up 
in your birth chart it's in your natal chart that's progressed your progressed chart so you might be a really outgoing Sagittarius from one part of your life and then you've progressed and you've decided to settle down and be more stu uh, studious or more hard-working you might have progressed into a Capricorn or you might have been really flamboyant and outgoing as a as a Leo you know playful and dramatic and then suddenly you start to pay attention to all the details as you mature a little and that's Virgo but it works in the other uh, way as well you could have been a very um, you know detail-oriented Virgo and progress into you know, a very, you know, social kind of Libra. And so your chart progresses in a number of different ways. And it's, f and anyways, I put some examples of that on the website, on one of my websites here, and I'll show you right now. This is my, it's on the sunnyside.net website, of course, but I also put it on my music website because I put a big discount for you guys. And it's right here. There's a link in the description box. I describe it right here just to let you know what's going on. This is just click on these to order them. And I use Donald Trump's birth chart as an example. So this is his natal birth chart, his original chart. And this is what the sunny side, the reports here on the sunny side look like. They go, they go on and on. They're quite a detailed report and it's, they're long. And my, the reports here on the sunny side are definitely worth the money. And this is the progressed report, how he's changed over time. And you'll see he's a little older, so he's definitely changed a number of times. He's lived, uh, so his chart has changed significantly a number of times in his life because of how old he is. And here's an example, and this is the example of your progress report. It goes on and on and on and on. And if you want to, uh, you know, examples, they're right here on my website, so just check it out. For those who don't know, I used to own a music studio, and uh, I used to be a professional musician. All right. All right, so that's the action with that. <laughs> okay, so that's what's going on with that. All right, let's get down to work. So here we go. Libra. Libra. <laughs> okay, Libra. First up, the sun card. This is awesome news. The sun card is everything that you see. The, you know, the astrological glyph is obviously the sun, and the Hebrew glyph is the face. It's everything in front that you see. This card it's close to the end of the story but not really it means you finished it comes to the point part of the story where you're reborn into the light of a beautiful new day so libra whatever you've been going through all your trials and tribulations they're probably pretty close to being over you know these planets are retrograde i'll show you in a second and then you're revisiting you're shaking things around a little you're making it work and now you're going to be born into the light of a beautiful new day that's awesome now it means you're in control of the situation it also means what you see is what you get now a libra is not an overly suspicious sign but a libra is definitely a smart sign and they don't you know libras you know they they can read you pretty good so they uh, you'll know the sun is shining so you'll know if people are fucking around with you you'll know if people are being honest with you you'll know if people are being sincere you'll know if they're just pretending to be your friends you'll know if they're going to they're trying to fuck you around and that's the deal you'll know you'll understand you'll recognize people's sincerity and you'll um, you know you'll shine a light there'll be a light shining on everything and you're ready to move forward it's an absolutely beautiful day to be beautiful and you libra are part of the reason it's a beautiful day yeah <laughs> okay but you know all this all this stuff that i'm saying right now libra's actually libra's pretty good at it to start with all right here we go let's check out the charts do 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 okay so this is your this is what the chart looks like do 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 for those who are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel if you want to support the channel please donate in the description box there's a paypal link in the description box below all right let's do it so this is Libra here. Libra's on the ascendant. That's what it looks like. That's your, your glyph. Your, this looks like the sun on the horizon. That's what the Libra glyph represents. Or it looks like a... Okay, <laughs> okay. so that's that. Now there's some interesting stuff happening to start the month. This is where all of the retrograde energy is. And that's Libra where you're going to be revisiting everything. And that's the stuff that I've been talking about for the most of the videos so far. And this is the first thing. So... First, something about your communication, something about your brothers and sisters, something about cars, cell phones, computers, new business. You know, the Libras do a lot of different stuff. It's, you're all, it's all going to dry up. Optimism is going to uh, deplete there. It's going to wane. It's going to fade away. So if you are very optimistic about things happening, if you and your 
say your sister were having a great relationship and you know things are great and all of a sudden for the last couple of weeks it's probably because this happened in april for the it started in april it's going to continue for the month of may you're gonna you might be feeling like oh man what happened you know we were supposed to we were like homies we were going to go shopping together and something happened and so optimism and enthusiasm with some kind of thing with your sister or your siblings it's going to wane also you might have uh bought a new car and you're like you know what the hell happened gas price is getting expensive or you might have something is happening so with your um communication area you might have bought a new computer and you're like whoa this computer is not so good as i thought it was gonna be or your cell phone might break just stuff to watch out for anyways it's going to be retrograde for a while it's now i'll say it again i you might also may have not purchased a new car yet uh, but you might be going back because it's retrograde going back and looking at a car you were going to buy going back and looking at a cell phone you were going to buy going back and looking at a computer you were going to go to you know to look at in addition to that it's business right this is your day-to-day -day work this is your career this is getting promoted your hopes dreams and aspirations this is legal stuff but down here it's all about communication and new business so it's your clients right it's a one-on-one -on -one client so uh you might have had uh some clients in that you you know you might have had an opportunity to work with some new people and it did or it didn't work out so you're going to go back and check that action out so all i want to say is for all areas of your life, Libra, because it's, you know, it's different for everybody, all areas of your life, and Libra risings too, uh, if you had, you know, if there was, you really wanted something and it didn't work out, go back and ask again. All these R's right here, I mean, go back and check it out again. Maybe the person they hired, it didn't work out, or maybe the people they purchased from didn't work out. If you own a little music school, let's say, and you you did this outreach program and they all you know you didn't get all those kids that you thought you were going to get go back and try it again you're right it's time to to book your summer camps it's time to book your summer camps right it's conservatory exam time time to get the kids ready for their conservatory exams and time to book the kids for the summer camps don't be discouraged jupiter's retrograde so you're going to be discouraged but keep going and keep going and uh, you might have had a big hit recently, but keep going. And it, okay, so that's the first thing. So that's the third house stuff. That's this stuff here. Now this stuff here, this is stuff you've been working on for the last couple of years. Some things that you've really wanted. Now you see this Pluto is retrograde here? It's going to go back and clean some things up. You're pretty close to getting, you're pretty close to finishing this thing. And it's happening at home. So many Libras, like the fourth house is your home. So Libras might be moving into new houses. There's something about it. You might have put an offer on a house and it didn't go through. Uh, go back. All right. Just go back and check it out. Maybe your mortgage didn't work out. You didn't get enough. You weren't able to get a big enough mortgage for the house. Maybe the house price has dropped. So you can go because Jupiter is Jupiter retrograde is going to indicate lower prices. People aren't going to want to pay as much right now. In financial astrology, when Jupiter financial astrology jupiter represents sales and saturn represents all the paperwork and the accounting jupiter retrograde means uh less optimistic sales people aren't willing to pay as much for things and so maybe that house that you could only could you know just out of your price range uh maybe it's it's, it's reduced price right now so go back and check it out and maybe you're going to be able to afford it this time libra it's a really good thing actually and so that's a pretty good thing that's that's a cool thing same with the computer maybe if you were buying a computer and it was too expensive go back and check it out it might be on sale right now same with cell phones and stuff uh just go back and check it out all that stuff should be on sale also go back and check the health the health of one of your parents now there's a little thing happening this is saturn all right so that's the deal so forget the saturn thing it's going it's moving away <laughs> so so this little thing is what i'm talking about here this horseshoe this is your south node that's representing all the stuff you've been working towards in the last little while and you're going to get a chance to go back and check it out the north node is what you want to be doing the south node is kind of what you're stuck doing and that's the that's the deal that's what the nodes mean all right enough of this kind of stuff so that's the first thing and that's the major 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 theme for the month of may 
In addition to that, we have a full moon to open the month, May 4th, right, way over here. That's what a full moon looks like, the moon on top of the sun there, or the moon crossing the sun. And the full moon is where, wherever there's a full moon, there's going to be new beginnings in your chart. And the new beginnings are going to happen dun -dun 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 in your eighth house of sexuality. Woo, Libra. Oh, surprise, surprise. Sonny, that's not funny. Why are you always saying Libra's loose in the zipper? All right, fine. Well, you wouldn't be loose in the zipper if you were. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Libra, you should wear suspenders, man. You should, like, okay. Anyways, so. Anyways, tired. I'm sunny. I'm tired of you saying I'm loose in the zipper. All right, fine. Whatever. <laughs> so, like, whatever. Because, uh, all right. This is so funny. I like bucket Libra. All right. So, Libra, the um, new beginnings. And so this section here is actually, let's just go back. This section here is actually joint finances, okay, joint finances. It's also the money people give you for someone else. It's joint finances, legal battles, sexuality, and it's relationships taken to the next level. So whatever it means to take relationships to the next level, that's what you're going to have a new beginning. So maybe you're going to move in with someone. It could, doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship with a person. It could be a relationship with anything. Maybe it's a relationship with your car. Maybe you take your car to the next level. Like, I don't know, you, you move in with your car. I don't know what the fuck, right? <laughs> but it's a relationship. You're taking a relationship to the next level. So if you're dating somebody, you might get... This is... this. It's, it's pregnancy as well. You might get, if you're dating someone, you might move in together. If you're dating someone, you might, uh, and it's working out, you guys, you might have kids, you might move in together. This isn't just dating. This is like, you know, people that you see on a day-to-day -day basis. This is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. These are the people that you hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis. So these people that you hang out with, if good things happen with these people and very good things are happening with these people, Libras are in a relationship cycle right now. Very good things with Libras in relationships. And so, so Libra, good things are happening with Libras in relationships right now. This is taking the relationship. So if you fall in love, you might move in together. If you fall in love, you might get married. If you fall in love, you might have kids. If you fall in love, you might join your finances. You know, money comes together. If you fuck this up and you have a shitty relationship, Libra, then the, a shitty relationship taken to the next level means you're going to get motherfucking divorced. Congratulations, Libra. And so, or it means if, um, yeah, divorce. And so if you fuck up your relationship, it means someone's going to try and ask some money out of you. You know, they're going to try and be dishonest with you. A fucked up relationship taken to the next level means you're going to get fucking sued. You know, a fucked up relationship taken to the next level means someone's going to real bitch you out behind the scenes. Someone's going to try and fuck you up, you know, and uh, they're probably going to fuck you up financially. And that's what's happened. So it goes both ways in astrology. I mean, it's your life. You have the choices. You know, you make the most of your opportunities as, as you get them. I wish you the best. I like Libras. You know, I have a lot of friends. I used to have a lot of friends who are Libras. And so, so that's the deal, Libra. So this new beginnings in this relationship stuff taken to the next level. Uh, so that's it. And maybe it's a fundraising. It's people giving you money for something else. People giving you money for a good cause and it's joint finances. All right, next. On top of all of that, for the first half of the month, the movie, the month is going to be in two parts. First and second. Duh! <laughs> like, okay. The month, the month is going to be in two parts. In the first half of the month, uh, in the first half of the month, uh, you're going to, you know, you're going to have problems with people at a distance. Uh, you've, this has been on. This is an ongoing problem that you've had for the last month, and it's going to continue for the first half of this month. And then in the second half of the month, you're going to become very public and high visibility. Now, there is something that you have to watch out for. There's this Mars. Uh, so there's the full moon. So there's all this stuff going on here. Then there's the full moon, and then there's lucky and love. All right, those are the first three things. You know, going back and cleaning up something you've been working on. You're lucky and love new beginnings in joint finances and taking love to the next level. Next, fighting with people at a distance. All right, whatever, man, son. Like, I can fight with everybody. I'm Libra. I don't fight with nobody. Okay, whatever. Okay. <laughs> also, Libra is ser very seriously for the month of April and the beginning of May, first half of May, might be traveling. I don't have any place 
to ride an airplane. There we go. This is what an airplane looks like in the world of Sunny. Lots of windows. <laughs> so, the, um, so Libras might be traveling in April or May. Now, on top of all of that, this opposition here means loud and proud. It means putting a lot of energy. Mars, which is a lot of energy, it's like, hey, let's do this, into Jupiter, which is loud and proud. But Jupiter is in retrograde, right? So it's not very optimistic. So it might be a little bit meek. Just watch out for people. And because it's in Gemini, it's going to be scattered. Watch out for people um, just being loud and proud. Watch out for a lot of trash talk. Watch out for... Uh, a garish behavior. It's very, um, and try for yourself not to succumb to the tendency to be a touch garish or uncouth because, like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's Libra is not one of those signs. There are most, Libra is the sign of grace and elegance. So, uh, so it's, you're not going to be like that, but try not to get down on the world when the world is being like that. There's going to be a lot of trash talk at the beginning of the month. There's going to be a lot of, ah, chest banging. And so just be cool because it's not, it's not you, Libra. Anyway, so that's what's happening for the first, you know, that's happening at the beginning of the month. And that's the energy for the first half of the month. So we did the Pluto stuff. We did the new moon stuff. We did the opposition stuff. Oh, one more thing. Lilith is where you're damned if you do damned if you don't. There are three different Liliths in astrology and we use the black moon Lilith. And if you look at the glyph, it's the moon. Oh, you so good. For those who don't know, I failed art history. I was a fine arts major. I went to university for a long time and one of my majors was fine arts. I was like, that was fucking brutal. I was a music major. <laughs> Not a, and then I went back for economics, of course. So it's two glyphs. It's the black moon and it's uh, the body part of Venus. And so um, so one of the things is the, it's like the black moon it's, it's like a moon which you really want you know you want this you want to try you're really trying for it and there's a lot of love here it's Venus you know half of Venus you're loving you're trying you're really trying to do it but it's a black moon so you're going to fuck it up right Libra it's for everybody and that's just the way the Lilith works out it's your eternal damnation in astrology it's what it means it means whatever's there you're going to fuck it up or someone's going to fuck it up for you and it's moving into Pisces so it's moving into Pisces in your sixth house so into Pisces Pisces is stick up for the underdog Pisces is nurturing is a Pisces is a Cancer is the sign of nurturing Pisces is the sign of the arts Pisces is the sign of um, sticking up for people. Uh, Pisces is one of the healing signs. Pisces is a healing sign, definitely. Uh, and it's a sign of illusions. But most importantly, Pisces is very dogmatic. Pisces is sticking up for the underdog. Uh, Pisces likes to fight back. So with, so with Lilith here, you might be sticking up for the wrong people. All right, keep that in mind. As we go through this transit here, this is happening to everybody. So, Everybody is going to is going to put a real cactus hurt on the world, and you know they're going to stick up for the wrong. Pe they're going to fuck up this trying to save. So Pisces is trying to save the world, right? Pisces is a sign that's trying to save everybody, and with the black moon there, you're going to save the wrong person. So the bad guy, real bad guy, is probably going to get away right now. So watch out for that. Anyways, for Libra, it's moving into your astro sector of health, uh, um, health, habits, work. So watch out for problems at work. Watch out for problems with your health. Watch out for like, say you go on a diet. It's like going on a diet and suddenly gaining weight. You're like, how the fuck did that happen? <laughs> or it's like starting a new exercise program and uh, you injure yourself. Or well, something can happen with your pets. It's possible this month Libra might buy a new pet or get adopt a pet, and suddenly you're like, "Holy shit! I didn't know I had to actually walk the dog." Or it'll be like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! I've got a pet bunny. The bunny's the cutest thing in the world." But holy god, that thing shits a lot. <laughs> it is so funny. Oh my god, it's not that funny. I have a pet turtle. Oh my god, she's got a little. It's like she drops these big chunks of almonds everywhere. Like what the holy man? What have you been eating? And like, obviously she's been okay. Not because you know you didn't know about my pet. <laughs> All right, so. Anyways, Libra, that's what's going on. So that's the first half of the month. And that's where all the energy is. The second half of the month is going to be a little, you know, it's not, it's not going to be even remotely as interesting. 
It might. Let's have a look. Good show. Do 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 do. Do do do. So the first this month is it's really in two parts. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's check the second half of the month. All right, so right around the 15th or so, I have it on the 18th. Okay, no, so on the 15th, it's the second half. So right around the 15th, Mars is going to move over here. Mars is going to move from traveling. So halfway through the month, it depends on when you were born, right? We're talking about people who were born right at the beginning of the month, your rising sign right here. But most people are born here. So the stuff, although I say it's around the 15th, it's going to be like towards, you know, it depends on where you're born, give or take a week or so before the energy slides in and around a week and a half. Uh, or you can watch the daily horoscopes here on the channel. You know, we do tons of, uh, three times a week I do the horoscopes for you guys. All right, so next. Do, 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 do. What is going on? So two things are going to shift mid-month. Venus is moving from relationships, you know, from partnering up, from getting married, right? Getting married, new business, joining up with people. And if you don't join up with anybody, well, then you fucked it up, Libra, and you're going to have to wait for another year and a half, you know? Wait till it happens again. It's not my fault you fuck it up. So happens all the time. It happens to every sign every single month. So... Don't blame me because you fucked. Sandy, I'm not, I'm not dating anybody. We didn't get married. Okay, well, so not my fault. You're fuck. You know, <laughs> not all Libras are gorgeous. All right. So not all Libras are pretty. And so not all Libras have a nice personality. <laughs> Ain't that for damn sure. All right. But all Libras are loose in the zip. <laughs> all right. So. All right. Anyways. So moving on. The... Um, so in the second half of the month, money should be really good. This is all in all, Libra. You should really team up. You know, this is this here is teaming up. You should really find some people and you know, s you know, find some people you can trust. So find some people you can rely upon. Find some good, some good people. You know, some like people that like. It doesn't have to be definitely about relationships or anything. It just has to be good, solid relationships and. Um, you know, people you can trust and and just deal with, and so that's uh, that's what you got to do. All right, next, do 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 do. Anyways, joint finances are going to kick in. So new beginnings at the beginning of the month, the second half of the month are going to get really good. Then we have Mars is kicking over here like this, and so you would have been traveling in April, beginning of May, or maybe thinking about it in May, and then you're going to start putting a lot of energy. You're going to be back at work putting a lot of energy into your career. It's going to be work, 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 Libra. So get your energy into your career and move forward like that. Okay? It's going to be a focus. Is going to be on your career. What else is going on? Yeah, so it's your career. You're going to be high visibility. Watch out. So more. there's more to it. Watch out for fighting people at work. Right? Work hard. Get a promotion. You know, you might get promoted. You might get promoted. You might get a new job. Something bad also might happen at work. Watch out for arguments at work. Watch out for someone trying to, um, you know, just watch out for someone trying to stab you in the back at work. In addition to that, there's going to be a full moon. And the full moon's going to be over here in Scorpio. And when we have the full moon in Scorpio, Libra, something about your finances, personal finances, are going to come to light. So... That's the deal. Personal finances are going to come to light. So watch your money. So that's it. So joint finances, really good. Money is going to be all, like personal money is not so great. It's empty, right? See, there's nothing here. And the full moon is going to highlight it. So you're probably going to find out halfway through the month how much money you made or the bills are going to come due, right? So if you really did go on a vacation, if you really did spend a lot of money, you know, right around the middle of the month, you're going to know if you can afford everything, if you can pay the bills. If you're thinking about buying that new car or computer, if you think about buying that new house, if you're thinking about moving, if you're thinking about getting into a relationship with someone or joining, joining finances with everyone, uh, midway through the month, you're going to figure out if you can afford everything. And that's a deal. It's not a really big deal. This month, really, first half is all about love. 100%. You are in a relationship uh, cycle. All of this retrograde stuff is ongoing stuff. This is just stuff that's happening in your life. So you got to deal with it. On top of all of that, doo -doo -doo, you might be traveling. 
And that's the deal. Ooh, that's a long video. <laughs> Anyways, that's the action, Libra. I hope you have a super wonderful month. And that's the big deal. That's everything we wanted to talk about today. In addition to that, the sun has come out. You have the sun card, so be very cool with everything. Be super amazing. You know, you'll be able to figure out if people are honest with you or not. And once, you know, if you want to take the workshops, just, you know, message me in the description box. It's all in the description box. And once more, just to finish off the video, I just want to show you guys. This is our store here on the sunny side. It's called theastroside.com. Once again, there's a link below. And this is all the sunny side hoodies and t-shirts and leggings and socks and cool Libra stuff and mugs. And this is what you do. You know, if you'd like to support the channel, then by all means, pick up one of our sunny side t-shirts or hoodie. You know, together, it's a beautiful day because it really is. It's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. And this is the one I have. I have the one in green. It's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. And it's together that makes it a beautiful day. It really is. And that's the action, Libra. Hope everyone has a super awesome month of May. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a boo. <laughs> if you have any questions, just let me know. And that's the action. From the sunny side.net, I'm sunny. Wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon. Good luck, Libra.